LSU, UCLA, and who boy, I I got to tell you, I, I watching the game, watching UCLA and Hawaii the other night, I got even more convinced that LSU was going to win this game and, and maybe win it going away. Because the dominating part of UCLA's game was their their line play, right? Defensive line held Hawaii like 21 yards rushing, I believe, on 26 carries. I may have that back, but either way, or backwards. The offensive line dominated. Hawaii was able to run, or excuse me, UCLA was able to run all over Hawaii. They're not going to be able to do that against LSU. Like, I don't care how you line it up. You are not going to be able to do that against LSU. Now, I am a little worried about the distractions and whatnot LSU had to set up base in Houston this week. I don't think it matters when it comes to game time because I don't think they're going to be thinking about anything else other than beating the guy across from them. I do feel pretty good about LSU in this spot. I think that they'll get more out of the passing game than what Hawaii did. I think they'll definitely get more out of the running game. And if UCLA can't throw, remember Dorian Thompson-Robinson was not good throwing the Against football. Against Hawaii at all. Now, yeah. some, of that, some of that I worry... All right, because they the didn't have to be, right? They didn't have to. Why would you have thrown when you don't have to? Because against LSU, you're going to have to, and you're going to have all the chances in the world. Doesn't mean you can. Also, we have to remember, we think of guys like Chip Kelly, Gus Malzahn. We think of these guys, and we think they just want to throw the football, throw the football, throw the football, because they go fast, and they have high-powered offenses. But think about the offenses that they've ran throughout history. It all goes through the running game. And so if they can run the ball on you, they never stop running the ball on you. Yeah. Now, against LSU, they're going to have to throw the football. The difference is, is I I think DTR is a good quarterback, and I think he can throw. This is going to be the best secondary he plays all year. If they can get their heads out of their ass and play right and not like they played last year, those windows are going to be tight, and he's going to have to make some hell of throws. I don't think the cornerbacks are going to be left on islands this year, and I think that will no, certainly not. surely not, don't. right? Yeah. Surely not. <laughs> not. Not after last year. So we we will see what happens, but I, I do feel good about LSU minus three. You're riding the same way, right? Yes, I think. I was nervous about this game all week, even all off season, but I just I just came to an epiphany the other night. SEC team, big boy SEC teams beat the hell out of Pac-10 teams, Pac-12 teams. It just doesn't matter. We're yeah. bigger, we're stronger, we're faster, we're better coached. There's not a level of the game where they're better than us. I shouldn't be worried. I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win in a route. I also think UCLA is going to be a massive public play because we saw UCLA beat the hell out of them. And if you look at where the money went early, everybody's remembering LSU five and five terrible at football last year, laughing stock of the SEC, and they're seeing the Bruins on the way up. This is what people always remember as the last thing they saw. Yes, yes, the public gambler remembers what they just saw. They haven't seen LSU yet. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.